What's up, everybody? Let me put this on. Vibrate. I feel like that's going to happen several times throughout this video. Anyway. What's up, everybody? It's Brian, and welcome back to my channel. So, one of the most popular videos on my channel is the What's on my iPhone video, um, the Minimalist Edition. I think that video got like 30K views, which means that you guys liked it. So, since I recently just had to get a new phone, I was like, why not record an updated version, let you guys know some of the, the new apps that I'm using and the new features of the iPhone X that I absolutely love and how I'm incorporating it into my overall iPhone experience. <laughs> it's only been two days since I had this phone. I finally got it set up how I love it, how I like it, how I love it. So things might change, but these apps ain't gonna change. So that is what it is. Yeah, I'm still fumbling. Still don't know how to use the phone. So if you see me fumbling or anything, just, you know, just disregard that. Just ignore it. Don't even, you don't even have to make a comment about it. First things first is my lock screen. Um, this is actually a photo that I took for my birthday shoot. I just decided to make that my lock screen. So, so the first thing that you see when you unlock my phone is my home screen so you see that i have everything set up like super minimal i just have the top row being used on any of the screens i don't like things being super cluttered and i just love this setup so much but anyway so my home screen photo is just a wallpaper that i created in photoshop um and it has like my favorite quote from the everything beyonce and jay-z album from their song nice it says I'm better than the hype, I give you life. You know, sometimes you just gotta remind yourself, like you better than all of this stuff that's going on out there. Like you are your own hype. You just gotta remind yourself the joy of being you sometimes, you know, so that's that. We can start with my um, my task screen. I don't have it set up like I wanna have it set up, but what I am gonna do, and I'm, I guess I can do that now, is I'm going to add the sub count widget up here because I want to see, be able to easily check my subscribers. I'm going to keep the weather there. I'm going to add my favorites. Um, and I think that's about it. I want to be able to see, you know, the weather, like, like super simple, so I can just swipe over to the task screen to look at that. I want to be able to, to constantly check my my subscribers because you know I love to see my subscriber count growing. Which reminds me, if you have not already, stop and subscribe to my channel. Scroll on down that page a little bit more to subscribe. I post videos about men's fashion, men's style, men's skincare, um, everything from you know building your confidence, self-esteem, self-worth, self-value, self-acceptance, and all that good stuff. So if you want those those kind of daily reminders and how-tos and tip videos to subscribe to this channel please let's start with my work folder so um the first app that i have in there is my calendar app of course you guys know what that is um there's my paypal app that way i can stay on top of any time like any of my clients pay me um then i have the cash app and you guys know what cash app is i don't have to explain that there's my voice memos app that's the app that i actually use to record the podcast um if you guys didn't know i have a podcast with my cousin and brother best friend Shalai. Um, it's called In My Black Opinion. I'll leave a link to the podcast in the description box below. But anyway, um, then there's the Driving for Dollars app. I'm getting into I'm getting into wholesaling real estate, so that app is really helpful for that. I use the Mail app for, of course, my emails. Um, some people use Gmail, but I just like native iPhone. Um, you know, mail app. Then there's Maps. Um, there's the Home Snap app. That one's another real estate wholesale app. Um, then I have the Evernote app, and I love the Evernote app so much because it helps me stay organized. Like I can post all of my to-do lists in there. I can post any video ideas that I have. I can post like my video scripts in there, um, and I can create notebooks specifically specifically for everything. So um, it just keeps me organized and keeps me on top of like my to-do list and everything. So and then I have my Squarespace blog app which is super important because I host all of my websites on Squarespace. Um, so I use that blog app to update my blog posts on the go. So if I'm not, if I don't have any access to my computer or my laptop and I know that I need to get a blog post out, I can easily just do that on my phone. And then there's the YouTube Studio app. And if you're a YouTuber, super important to, you know, see the back end of all their YouTube videos or their YouTube channel itself. So um, I use that for that. I need some water. Jesus. I don't know what's going on and then there's the reward style app which is an affiliate link app um if you use those links and i post them here on my channel i get like a the smallest commission and then i have the instagram followers app that just keeps me on top of you know all of my instagram followers like how they've grown they show me instagram analytics and everything so i can stay on top of that so now we're getting into my play folder i have the um the crossword app 
and I love crossword puzzles like I always have so that's like one of my favorite games which is why it's like the very first one in here um, but then there's the Disney Heroes app and I don't know if you guys have ever played the Disney Hero game but it's so much fun you can fight as like any Disney character and as you progress through each of the levels you unlock more characters so it's like you're building your team um, but then I have Toon Blast if you guys don't know what Toon Blast is I'm stuck on level 114 like don't judge me I've been playing for like a year and I'm still on one, level 114 um, but um you just kind of like match up the colors I play this game literally when I'm like in the car before I go in somewhere just to kind of clear my mind get a little zen going you know then there's the my vista app and if you guys don't know what the my vista app is then I'm not going to tell you just know it keeps me from being a thought then I have the Tinder app, and um, I think I'm going to do a complete separate video on my, my Tinder experiences. Find a little love out here. It's about time for me to settle down. Then I have this, the Smule Sing app, and like I told you guys before, I play this game so much. Like, I can't sing a lick, but I have... I have 2,040 recordings on the Sing app. <laughs> like, that's how much I play. Don't follow me, please, people. Just don't follow me. I don't want y'all going to go listen to, to me sing. I can't even sing to save my life. Um, then there's Netflix. You guys know what Netflix is. There's the podcast app. I listen to podcasts all the time. Um, the first one that pops up is my podcast, which is In My Black Opinion. The last episode we had is called Take Me Now. <laughs> um, I listen to the Lemon Shade podcast. I listen to the Friend Zone. I listen to the Influencer podcast, the Good Head podcast, that Girl podcast. I listen to them. Um, I just just a bunch of podcasts that I enjoy. So um, you know, all of those are here. There's the Wordscapes app, and I, I just love word games. Period. Um, and then I have Kick, the Kick app in here. But then I have a couple of my my fitness apps that I'm getting into recently. So I have the Couch to 5K app, and it gives you just like a week by week, day by day fitness plan to running a 5K. Use the Nike Run Club app. Um, and then there's the Board Kings um, game, which one of my friends just put me on that. I haven't played it yet. Um, I was trying to play it earlier, but it was just taking so long to to like download, I guess, the files it needs. So I haven't played it yet. Then I have the Quiz Up app, and I love this game so much <laughs> because I'm like a huge fan of, um, you know, trivia TV shows. And you can challenge other users up here and, you know, kind of play against them. So it's fun to me. And then I have my Dish Anywhere app. Of course, I have the Shop Tagger app. And that app just helps you save a little bit of money. It lets you know when, you know, items that you love are on sale. Then I have the, the Tropical Smoothie app. I love Tropical Smoothie. I love smoothies. So I do all of my, my ordering through there. And it just makes it super simple whenever I want to go get a smoothie. You guys know what Ebates is. No need to really explain. Then there's the Target app. I have the ASOS app. Um, and then there's the Doge app. And I did a whole video on Doge. Pretty much with the Doge app, you link your, your credit card. And whenever you shop at any of the merchants that they have, like Forever 21, uh, World Market, Payless, you get whatever percent cash back that they're offering. I love Doge. But I'll leave my referral link in the um, description box below so you guys can go sign up and get your dosh. <laughs> um, then there's another app that I use called Sweatcoin and I just started using this app but pretty much it's an app that pays you to walk outside. So whenever you're walking around outside it calculates your step and you know pays you for your steps. Um, it's not actual money like you can use um, your sweat, sweat coins within the app so any of the offers that they have going on you can use your sweat coins on that. Then there's the retail me not because like the title says retail me not like i ain't paying a retail price for for most things so um i also have the chick-fil-a app i actually just got this app i should have got it a long time ago because my friend stephanie has been telling me like i need to get it because i eat at chick-fil-a so much and i could have had tons of free food by now i have the starbucks app i don't really use it because i think to use it like don't get me wrong i think to use it you have to purchase a gift card through the app and i don't want to do all that like I don't want to. So now we're moving into my edit folder. The first app that I have here is the Unum app and it pretty much just lets me plan out my um, my Instagram feed. Then I use the Visco Cam app and I edit every single last one of my photos in the Visco Cam app. And then I have the Unfold app and I love that app because it allows me to create like aesthetically pleasing um, Instagram stories. So many different layout options. Um, so you can literally just go in, pick a layout, import a photo. Or video and 
you know, just kind of edit it. And I just, I just really like playing around with this app. I use the Facetune app to kind of whiten any backgrounds, but I haven't used it too much because I, I don't have my white theme anymore. But um, I still have the app because I paid for it and I'm not letting it go. So then there's the Afterlight app, and a lot of people have been asking me recently how I edit my photos for Instagram to look like super vintage, and I literally use Afterlight for that. And then there's the Hooji app, and I think I'm gonna do like a whole video on like all of the vintage um, editing apps, but it gives you like this vintage 90 film effect like automatically. Then I of course have the, the stock photos app in here. Then there's the Snapseed app. I use Snapseed for the healing brush tool. So whenever I go in and edit a picture, let's say I have like a wrinkle right here or something, and I just wanna remove a couple of things, like I have some blemishes or anything. Um, and then there's the InShot app, which is an amazing photo and video editing app. Like, it's so many different filters that you can add there. You can add text to your photos or video. Like, I like the InShot app, especially for, like, curating Instagram stories. And then there's the, the Clips app. I've never used it before, um, but I just have it in there. I feel like I need it. I will need it at some point. Um, I have the iMovie app. But and then I have my Adobe Illustrator Draw app and I love this so much but um these are some of the drawings that I've done so far I just have a lot of fun in the Adobe Draw app, app. <laughs> then I have the Lightroom CC app I haven't used it that app yet then there's the VHS cam and the 8 millimeter app and they're pretty much vintage video apps just kind of gives you this like super V8 um vintage VHS effect and you can like change the effects out and um, it's just so many different options with this so I love using this app for for Instagram stories so then my favorite apps are Twitter you guys know what Twitter is um, if you guys are on Twitter follow me on Twitter I am active on Twitter I'm very active on Twitter actually <laughs> you guys want to follow me on Instagram I am I'm Bryant Devine there too. Then there's Facebook. Then there's the Facebook Messenger app, Pinterest. I'm always pinning stuff on Pinterest. Like I love Pinterest so much. Like literally Pinterest has me thinking that I can do anything. Like I'm Beyonce and Jay-Z. There's my Tumblr app, of course Safari, my notes, um, and then He Reads Truth. And you know, I'm working on you know my spirituality. He Reads Truth is like a Bible app. Um, and it gives you like tons of different Bible plans that you can like follow along with and get a better understanding. And then there's also like a, commu a built-in community where you can like have um, conversations with other users and just kind of talk about like the daily passages and it's like so, so awesome. So I have the He Reads Truth app too. And then again, there's my, my phone app, my music app, and then my camera app. So yeah, that's all that's on my iPhone. If you guys like this video, Give me a big thumbs up, find the subscribe button, click subscribe. And if you scroll down a little bit more, you'll find the description box there. I will post all of my referral links to any of the apps that I've mentioned in this video, as well as links to all of my social media so you guys can follow me everywhere that I am. But if you guys would like the wallpaper that I created, um, I'll leave a link to that in the description box below so you guys can go download it. But anyway, I'm done. <laughs> Until next time, I'm out. Bye, y'all.